Hello America, Blaze Cat Blaster here, and about two years ago, as of making this video, I made a video reacting and cringing at my older videos. I think he was like, here, let me tell you how to live, cuz she's special. And I decided I'm going to do that again. However, I'm going to be looking at my first ever web series, The White House, and it's going to be cringy. I know it. I was a little kid at the time. And given the fact that only recently I have became slightly better, I know I'm going to suffer. But for your entertainment, I'm willing to sit through it and analyze it like a lore video, like a game series video. Map at why? But here's the thing. If one is to watch something so cringy like that, they have to prepare, they have to train, and that's what I'm going to do today. I just got back from watching all of it. I was not. I was not. It takes a man of sheer will to sit through all of it. And I mean all of it. It takes a brave man. And I was sadly not the one. Let me share my trauma with you. The crunch. It's the train. So, how do we start off the pilot? How do we start off this wonderful series? Me singing. It's in the train. It's a train. Did you tell him self-conscious by now? <gasps> okay, so... If I'm going to sum up, if you will, this entire series, or at least this pilot, I can sum it up in quite a few words, but I'm going to keep it family friendly for you. 25%? Me saying random words out of nowhere that don't even come out as actual sentences. The client. It's the chance to put a pink large. I, I don't even understand what I'm saying. I feel like uh, someone gave this kid wine and saw it was grape juice or something. And uh, the best part, 50% of this elsewhere is me screaming. I heard you. Hi! <laughs> If only I could use that for a horror movie, but I can't. So the plot, I think, is they're trying to wake up sleepy. In case you couldn't tell by the title of the episode. So, one thing I do remember when I first made the series is that, um, like, I think I just got done watching, like, this one puppet series. I don't remember what it was. I think it was something from, like, my dad's childhood or that. I hadn't, I don't really remember. All I know is that there was, like, very few elements that I kind of picked up from it. And also, I had a tendency to, well, kind of basically, if I saw it on the TV, ho ho, this is funny. I'm going to put it onto the video. That did not help me a lot, considering the fact that two 
old videos I had to take down because I accidentally would say the R word with no idea what it meant. <laughs> it's on my Wikipedia page. Look it up. So let's meet our wonderful cat, shall we? We have Lizard. A green lizard uh, in a lab coat who's portrayed by a action figure of the lizard from Spider-Man. That's about it about him. There's Sleepy who, in case you couldn't tell, is Sleepy. Yeah, yeah, v very, very creative. We have Dummy who's really... I you don't I can't even really describe him. He has no personality. You have Rusty who he's also there. The funny thing is that I literally actually kind of forgot that character was Ivor Singh, or I lost the character who was supposed to portray him. So he went through three different variants. That's the best part. Then you got um other minor cast like uh, narrator who spells out a word. This was in the stage where I just loved between the lines. I still do. Don't judge. Dragon Max, whose jokes are usually about him murdering an animal, apparently? And I'm trying to tell you a joke, and you got the dumbs! <laughs> well, kids, you heard it here first. You got the dumbs. Dragon Max has confirmed it. You got the dumbs. What's your joke? What does a penguin do when a dragon burns him dies i mean flies. <laughs> that that was <laughs> that, that was comedy gold <laughs> i uh, uh my chest is in pain cuz i'm laughing so much <laughs> Trixie, who asks if Fine Ram sings. And that's about as much of a character you're going to get from anyone. Oh, yeah, and there was one character uh, I can't remember. Hey, I'm my goblin. Why does everyone, everyone hate, hate me? <laughs> oh. Dude, settle, settle, I'm a settle. Hi, no Mrs. Goblin. Just settle. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. Who could forget? Maze Goblin. I made him a villain at the end of the series. So, I'm just now under the realization that... So, the pilot of White House got, like, 114 views, I think. And I just thought I was good at quality. <laughs> no. It was because I'm pretty sure people saw the name White House and they they clicked on it thinking that it was some sort of political speech, but <laughs> wait, wait, you you mean to tell me you didn't see the special White House election day episode where a wizard runs for president against Donald Trump? <laughs> <gasps> reptile lives matter. Don't build a wall over the reptiles. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is the White House. So season one um <clears throat> has a bit of a different and feel probably concerned that for now on, the series was in the room that I sleep in now. And also because this was also a year after the pilot, apparently. 
maybe I improved? Not exactly. But hey, at least we don't have to wake up to a freaking song. <laughs> oh, I'm the real roar. Please, shut up. You're not we Hamilton. You are da, 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 da. not in contact. Shut up. Them, and you are just getting what, what, what does this song mean? What does this song have to do with the plot? This is the Riddle Dog Soul, apparently. And he masterminds people who get his questions right. So, he manipulates them. It, um, wouldn't it have been more effective or more threatening if he manipulated you if you got his questions wrong? Because then it would be like, you're easily more manipulated. But this idiot brain couldn't think of that. This idiot brain couldn't think of logic or reason. <laughs> this is going to be a fun one. So, obviously, Lizard just on purpose um, gets the question wrong because this is way too easy. And the dog uh, just throws a tantrum and falls supposedly to his dad. So it goes. Oh yeah, and it turns out that Sleepy has a Legends book. Which is how he knew about the Riddle dog soul. Mm. So the next episode is White House Curse. And I'm probably going to skim quite through these. Uh, unless they have something important. Which, given the series, probably not. <laughs> so anyways, White House Curse, I will say, is slightly important. Because it gives the introduction of... <clears throat> A villain who will become a reoccurring villain more after season one, Elf Goblin. I remember I literally did Flashback Friday where I was redoing this whole song intro that I did. Nothing could help it. It was a lost cause. Oh yeah, also the real dog soul is now just one of the members of the White House. So, this is confirmation that they just enslave whoever invades their building. Sleepy has a segment where he's asking you to identify things. And also, uh, the Star Wars cast just uh, show up uh, until being told that, where they, that their ship's in Antarctica. I just noticed that my aunt is just uh, watching me in the background like why did I give him my phone? Wh what have I done? I think she is just regretting her life choices as she stares down at what I'm doing. Yay! Also apparently there's also an episode right after this where one character that I <laughs> really just love uh, using either in my books or just as a character in my head. Dark Lord Leader, he apparently is a character in the White House and he was a villain. Also, given the fact that I'm using the narrator figure for Dark Lord Leader, now it raises the question that they have two personalities. So, this raises so many questions on how he's still alive after this episode. The next episode, there's just a bunch of criminals who invade, so pretty much just, um, White House Curse episode. Except for the fact that this was the first two-parter. So the next episode, um, uh, Lizard and the gang, um, hang out with Angry Birds and the Annoying Orange cast. The most I can, uh, point out in this is this funny moment where I have to um acknowledge the fact that Rusty's hand is missing and then this funny thing happens. A bear bit off I put it on the screen. 
Jarvis uh, says he put it on screen. <laughs> Even this, I can't help but laugh at it. <laughs> Next episode, um, uh, the gang get swallowed by a shark. That's really it. They get swallowed by a shark. And they just beat him up from the inside so they can get out. Then the next episode, we find the most OP item in the world. At least in the White House universe. Not not the Infinity Gauntlet, not, not the lightsaber, not the Elder Wand. The Enchanted Sword, which gives them the ability to travel across what I call the quote-unquote multiverse. As they just travel through pretty much everywhere in the building. And the funniest part is that this was the introduction of Mother Nature or the Mandrake Karen. The, and I'm uh, kind of shocked that I was able to go away with it considering that the Mandrake Karen is a woman and they were just watching her, her use the bathroom. Also, I need to quickly acknowledge the fact that there were two shorts uh, made based around the White House. I'm not considering the um, canonical episodes, but basically it has to do with Lizard and Rusty as they have a impossible fun day or basically just hang out and they also take a drive. I'm not sure how those small little bodies able to hit the steering wheel, ee -ee -ee. <laughs> but they do. Last two episodes of season one are The Lost Droid and Goat Horn Faint, which, uh, and uh, The Lost Droid is basically a lizard trying to find Luke Skywalker to help R2-D2, and the other episode is basically about Billy Go just being a douchebag to everyone. And then we get into season two, but we're going to save that for part two because this video is about 17 or 18 minutes long and I am not going to continue for that long so if you like what you saw leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.